And sadly, so many of those extremists, those mega extremists, um, take their marching orders from Donald Trump. And when do they break with him? You know, because at some point, you know, maybe there needs to be a formal deprogramming of the cult members. Terms being tossed around like deprogramming Trump followers. All of America needs deprogramming because we've all been negatively influenced by Donald Trump. Can't uh, sit down with people don't, that don't recognize there was an insurrection. Megan alluded the other day to the deprogramming that uh, Katie Couric talked about. Deprogramming that might work in other cases is um, it's obviously proven to be difficult. But many of them have allowed the lies really to seep into their soul and it's beginning to rot their minds. Taking it even a step further, Raskin told the New York Times that he's ordered books about cults and deprogramming to try to understand his Republican colleagues. There are a couple of accounts, libs of TikTok, a few, you know, really prominent anti-trans and sort of far-right activists who started to essentially make the argument that any exposure uh, to children about LGBT people uh, is automatically grooming. It seems to be emboldening anti-gay trolls explain how not just libs of tiktok with this guy james Lindsay. they would say hey there's going to be something at this library you know that they're going to read books you know a drag queen's going to come and read books how do you fix it how do you undo it well at this point you know it's deprogramming that's what we're being fed people uh, of other races are out to get you we accept that we get fed that and so when that doorbell rings or the basketball comes into your yard your first response is to pull that gun it's a it's a programming that's occurring the deprogramming question is much tougher to answer. People have literally been brainwashed and it's scary by the myths and disinformation that is online, that is being the propaganda on Fox News. It is another epidemic that our country is facing. And until we really hold platforms accountable, until we really do some deprogramming. And anyone like him that says, uh, the uh, press is the enemy of the people, that's what Hubbard would say. That's what Moon said. If you say this is a cult, What's the first step of deprogramming? The first step with anyone who's a true believer is contact with people uh, that are outside the bubble. I mean, I was just trying to engage in a little deprogramming with all of these myths about COVID-19. Is there any convincing those people that they're not living in a world of reality or facts? No, listen, if there was a deprogramming pill that I could put in everybody's stocking for Christmas, I would do it. It's because of Facebook. It's gotten out into wine moms and yoga groups and some maybe there's something that started as innocuous online that turns into something completely different, Brian. And that's part of the challenge, as you write, of, of deprogramming it. We have, we have issues that are going to take a long time to root out. And it's really about deprogramming people who have been listening to stuff coming from Marjorie Taylor Greene and other big social influencers, and that includes the president. I hope uh, deprogramming some people one person at a time. They just need a little bit of affirmation. You know, I've been spending a lot of time reading about deprogramming. Deprogramming. Deprogram. You're reading my mind. Yeah. I see a lot of that happening. Like, no, I, okay. you don't need to be deprogrammed. You look pretty rational. No, no, no. Not, I'm not talking about me, but... I-